Is the Lord your rock today? Hi, my name is Keith and this is my daily walk. I have often heard testimonies at churches or on podcasts or videos that I've watched where people are rescued from some pretty amazing situations, whether it be drug addiction or they they were um, rescued from prison or they were rescued from other kind of violent crimes or they were somebody who was in very challenging lifestyles and God pulled them out of them. And, and when we listen to those testimonies, we are just in awe and in amazement of what the Lord does in some people's lives. For me, I don't have that kind of testimony. I don't have that, you know, oh my goodness, oh wow kind of testimony. There's been times in my life where I've thought, you know, if I just had that that kind of golden nugget, that, that one amazing thing in my testimony, then maybe people would really listen to the gospel message when I share it and, and it they would be saved and, you know, and it all falls back onto me and my thinking and my life and my testimony, you know, it, and doesn't take into consideration the work of the Lord. And today we see in Psalm 18 that David has an amazing testimony. And one of the things that uh, this testimony states is that God is his rock and his fortress. And so let's read through that and talk about that just a bit today. So Psalm 18 verses 1 through 3 I'm going to read the, um, the beginning of the psalm because it kind of sets the stage for this. A psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who addressed the words of this song to the Lord on the day when the Lord rescued him from the hand of all his enemies. And that's kind of where I'm get going with this is David was rescued from his enemies. And so with that backdrop, let's read this psalm. He said, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I read through the Psalms, it can be kind of challenging because you know, I'm not running from Saul. I'm not hiding in caves. I'm not being chased down and, you know, my life isn't being threatened and I'm not, you know, fleeing from something or someone and God rescues me. And so I have a hard time relating sometimes. But if I put it into a spiritual perspective, then it makes it a little bit easier for me to see God in a mighty way in my own life. So if you think about what Paul says in Ephesians chapter 6, he says that we don't fight flesh and blood, but we fight against spiritual forces, against darkness, against principalities. And if you think about God rescuing you from those things, it's no less amazing than God rescuing David from the hands of Saul. The psalmist will often write things like, I was hiding in caves, or I was weeping rivers of tears, or, you know, I had to run and flee from my enemies that were pursuing me, and, and everyone is against me. And when I think of that from a spiritual standpoint, it really kind of sinks in a little bit more. I can remember many times in my life crying spiritual tears where I just feel like the enemy is overtaking me and winning. And so when I think about how David cries out in these Psalms or in this Psalm especially, and he just says, you are my fortress, you are my rock, you are my deliverer. From a spiritual perspective, I can totally relate to that. And even after this Psalm, uh, Psalm 18, David had very challenging times in his life. And just like us, when we cry out to the Lord and we say, rescue us, Lord, from the enemy, we will still go through challenging times. We just know that he is going to be there. He is going to be our rock that we can hold on to and be anchored by. So today, my encouragement to you is if you don't have some grand testimony that God rescued you from an amazing situation, that's okay. 
because we know that God rescues us each and every day from the clutches of the enemy. Satan and his minions are out running rampant and they're trying to destroy families. They're trying to destroy Christians. They're trying to make sure that, you know, we will turn our back on God. And each and every day, the Holy Spirit is walking with us and helping us through. So though you may not, or I may not have a grand testimony, we can be assured that we serve a God who is our fortress and our rock, who will deliver us from the hands of the enemy. And so if you need prayer today and you need encouragement and you just need a little bit of um, someone to come alongside you and pray with you, we would love to do that for you today. And if you like these videos, remember to like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. But more than anything, I just pray that you see God today as your fortress, as your rock, as your deliverer, and that you walk daily in Christ. God bless you.